Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. While the South is having glamouring very strongly, uh, especially those indigenous people of Biafra, the agitators, myself, have been glam clamoring strongly for a uh, sovereign state of Biafra. It looks like Southwest have their hands full as they are beginning to realize the harsh reality facing them. In fact, it looks like um, what the late my life here said is gradually coming to pass. In the moment, you're going to find out why they're crying out and what they have in their hands that is troublesome and worrisome honestly all hands needs to be on deck on this before we go into the news proper like it subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube well according to the news the southwest security stakeholders group that's sssg triple sg on thursday raised the alarm over the influx of non-nigerians to all the six states in the southwest. The group noted that the development threatens the peace of the region and therefore urged all governors, traditional rulers, and other stakeholders across the region to brace up for the security challenges so as to make the region safe for the residents. The group expressed this concern in a statement made available by its publicity secretary, Adewoli Iriti. At the end of the meeting held at the residence of the convener and the Are Onaka Kamfo of Yoruba land, Iba Gani Adams. SSSG said it was alarmed by the raging influx of non Nigerians from Mali, Chad, Niger Republic, and other neighboring African countries to the southwest, noting sadly that it could no longer keep mute at the impending danger knocking around the region. After the meeting with the, with the leaders of the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group from across the Southwest, we, agree, we agreed to raise the alarm over the influx of non nigerians invading the Southwest and weakening, wrecking untold havoc on the various communities in the Southwest. Information at our disposal actually showed the plans and desperation of non nigerians with no identity and masquerading as motorcycle riders, that's Okada riders, to perpetrate evil across the Southwest. See, from our investigation, now, uh, on Akanka for talking, see, from our investigation, many of the Okada riders in our communities are non Nigerians with no identity and a place of our board. Yea, you can hardly trace them, and we have it on good authority that they usually hold weekly meetings every Friday after their Jumat services at their various locations to strategize on the best approach for them to perfect their sinister motives against residents of the Southwest. A large percentage of them are from other neighboring countries like Niger, Niger Republic, Mali, Chad. They are motorcycle riders and have dangerous instruments stocked under the seats of their motorcycles, the group stated. The SSSG publicity scribe added also that the reopening of the Seme border had rather than being a blessing turned out to be a curse. Alleging findings showed that non Nigerians from Burkina Faso, Mali found their ways illegally to Iwoya a town in Ogun that shares border with Benin Republic. Our attention has been drawn to the various activities playing out at the same border lately. They didn't allow duties, but they allowed non-Nigerians from Burkina Faso, Mali, that found their ways illegally to Iwoya, a town in Ogun, that Ogun state that shares border with Benin Republic, the group said. Whew, this is worrisome. It's, it's, it's a cause for concern. I, I don't really don't know why we are already overwhelmed. Unfortunately, the signals we give out there, uh, the fact that Flani Hesman are having a few time, Boko Haram are having a few day, it gives um, some of this miscreant from other countries the impression that Nigeria is weak, the sovereignty is in doubt, because let's be real, you know, what makes a sovereign state, many other things also, protection of life and property is paramount. 
okay but right now uh, our security personnel seem to be overwhelmed uh we couple with the way they inf- with, with, the, with what is happening already in, in the bushes in the southwest okay you keep hearing things like this kidnap here and there especially on some of these expressways that have a lot of bushes a uh, but now it is now getting worse and for the likes the likes of in honor um kakam for who era uh, who have his boys who are already on ground in the bushes to ensure that things are done don't forget that we have the the uh, 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 you know and we also have the uh, the likes of uh, at this uh, sunday Bohu, but unfortunately sunday Bohu is in uh, detention he really cannot do much outside the country now with the warnings that the late malafia gave and what is happening already it's it's, it's a clear indication that nigerians really need not sleep with information given to them the question is why are they allowing these guys to have entry you can imagine their their bike owners they don't have an address they don't have a name they don't have an identity card there's influx of them into the country and they meet strategy places to plan and they are always carrying instruments wherever they go and if you've ever lived in the southwest you will agree with me uh, that uh, one of the benefit or strength of the okada riders that's the tricycle riders or sorry the bicycle uh bicycle riders that's those uh, riding bikes really is the fact that motorbikes rather is the fact that they know the routes very well that's shortcuts they're so conversant with they will know your community in and out there's some places if some cars may not be able to you know valve uh, some routes cars may not even be able to apply but bikes will and that gives them room to understudy the, the community understudy the environment know who and what lives in the particular area per time knows their movement as a understudy the movement so to speak understand the d- dynamics of the security of that area and if they're already carrying instrument and the res- residents don't and probably have very limited security uh, uh, architecture then we have a disaster in our hands now you understand to a great extent why the likes of the indigenous people of biafra are shouting and screaming that they want their own nation so that at least they will have those they will put as foot soldiers to you know protect their borders this is getting out of hand for uh Ira himself you know to call out and say look there's a lot going on in the bushes there's a lot going on even within the city now i go i go why is actually so in no good state and uh, though it's supposed to be a city it really but it has quite a lot of bushes and I, I think there's also students area in that area so imagine where these guys have a few day our uh, hands are already few when it comes to the issue of insecurity south east the, the uh, military are trying to combat a lot there south north north is already already going through a lot and now with more of these guys coming in how long can we take i think it's about time nigerians themselves begin to rise up and defend their motherland if we don't defend who will if you don't defend your land who will and with this one is the question is would anyone take heed with the security personnel or security organizations in the southwest rather would they you know take note of this and start identifying some of these foreigners i'm sure by now they don't understand how to speak english and yoruba just yet so before they will start internalizing and integrating with nin you know being very easy for someone to get I, I think we need to look into this it's really something to be worried over let's put in our comments and show us a take to have